welcome back. I have some really exciting news to share with you today. I got a phone call from a local lady that heard I have been looking for fertile turkey eggs to incubate in my new incubator. It just so happened she called me, she's got them ready, and we're going to start this process. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I've never done turkey eggs, so we're going to walk through this together. I've done several chicken eggs, and you can watch my series of how to hatch chicken eggs. I'll put a link up above and down in the description. First things first, the minute you know you've got eggs coming, you've got eggs ready, you'll want to get your incubator plugged in. Give it at least a full 24 hours to heat up, get stabilized, and get to the temp you actually want it to be at. With these turkeys, I'm going to set my temperature the same degrees that I actually incubate my chickens in. So that's going to be a 99.5. Because I have the forced air fan in this, 99.5 is a good temp. If you have a steel incubator with no circulation air fan, you are going to want to set your temp a little bit higher, usually about 100 degrees to 100.5. When you guys get ready to plug your incubator in to let it run for the 24 hours, you do want to make sure it is clean. If it's never been used, basically just wipe it down with a damp washcloth. If you have used it previously, you do want to sanitize it. You can take all the parts out, the egg turner, the plastic trays on top, the wire mesh. You want to use a gentle detergent soap. Dawn with water suds pretty good, does a really good job at cleaning. Just make sure you don't get any water in the motor or the fan. You also can use a diluted water with bleach in it, about a 10% bleach. And you can clean it out that way. Once again, don't get it in the motor but wash all the parts with it, let the parts dry completely, especially if there's a sunny day, you can set it out in the sun, the sun will warm it up, dry it up, kill any other bacteria, and also air it out. I'm gonna get this plugged in, get it going, get some water in it, gonna try to get it as close to 55% humidity. That is what we want it to be when we get our turkey eggs in there. It gets them developing, we have no chance of our turkeys drowning in their shell or drying out. We just got the incubator plugged in. I've got my egg turner in there. You guys, if you have an egg turner, you want that in there also while your incubator is warming up because each time your egg turner moves, it can actually fluctuate temperatures. So you want it in there, it'll give you a good reading. As you can see, right now we're at a 69.4. So this is exactly the reason why we want to get this going for at least 24 hours. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, this deluxe incubator that I picked up, it's got the fan kit, it's got the egg turner, it also has a temperature reading and the humidity reading. I am actually going to put an extra thermometer in there that also has a humidity reading and a temperature reading. I just want to make sure that this is accurate since this is a brand new incubator. Super good idea guys. I definitely recommend it. We'll give it the 24 hours and we'll see how they compare. As I mentioned in the video when I was doing the comparison of my new incubator versus my older style, this one has a set button. It's a digital one to set the temperature. So this is a good time to set it for what you want to achieve. Basically hit your set button. It will automatically set itself to 99.5. If you want it cooler, if you want it warmer, you would just adjust the digital temperature. I'm just gonna verify. As you can see, it's right at 99.5. Once this actually gets to temperature, it will flash a different signal saying it is time to incubate these chicks. But like I said, 
give it 24 hours. Also at the time of preheating your incubator, you do want to add your water at that time down in the water trays. I am using a lukewarm water just because this isn't at temperature quite yet. And I'm going to start with just a half a cup, pour it in the trays, and I'm going to get a reading at where my humidity is. So I can adjust if that's about right or if I need a little bit more. So gently take this off. You can actually feel the heat already coming out of this. This is our egg turner, so just gently pull that up as well. As you can see, here are our water trays where we're actually going to pour the water. There are a couple of holes in here, so you do want to avoid those. Those are basically for the ventilation and airflow. Add a little there. Just going to add a little bit in each tray. One other thing I wanted to mention about this newer model also, on the lid where you lifted up the handles, they are marked R for right, L for left. The bottom part is also marked the same. So you want to make sure you're matching the R with the R and the L with the L. That just makes sure you get the incubator to actually close completely. Also, if you have it the correct way, where the egg turner plugs in, there is a notched out spot will help go over the cord when you actually shut the incubator and you don't have a big gap. Now that we've got that part set up, even when your incubator is heating up, you do want to pull out one of these red plugs. There is one that's back more by the motor, one that's closer to the actual temperature gauge reading. The one by the motor is what you want to pull out. This just assures that good, clean air is coming in. Now I'm going to get my backup second thermometer in there just to double check and see how accurate we are. It has a humidity reading and a temperature reading. So I'm going to get these in the incubator as well right now and see how close these two will compare to make sure our thermometers are actually accurate. That's about it for getting this started, you guys. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. We're gonna give it a full 24 hours. Come right back here, give you an update, show you the temperature gauges, and hopefully soon after that, I'll be showing you some fertile eggs that are getting put in the incubator. It's been about 20 hours since we started this unit yesterday. I'm actually a little disappointed at this point. In the first five hours with this second thermometer, it was reading a completely different number than what the unit actually says. It was actually reading about three to four degrees hotter, higher humidity than what the actual unit was saying. So I went and I grabbed my meat thermometer that I have. It doesn't read humidity, it just reads the actual temp. And that also was reading the same degrees as this thermometer. The incubator itself was showing it was running at about a 99.5, a 99.8, when these temperature gauges were running at about 103.5 to 104. I also noticed the humidity never changed in this unit. It has stayed at a 45% humidity while my other temperature gauge was reading a 72% humidity. I do have the thermometers in two different locations in the incubator. I've got one up towards the front, just hanging halfway down, and one hanging towards the back, hanging the same distance. And the humidity reader is actually suctioned to one of the plastic windows in the incubator and it is also hanging halfway down. With this unit right now, I am really nervous and really concerned about putting any eggs in it at this point, so I'm not going to. I got my old unit going. It hasn't failed me in the past. I've had about an 80% hatch rate in it. I definitely feel more comfortable using the older unit, made by the same company, has always hatched good for me, for my friends, for my family. So I think I'm gonna trust that one this time around, you guys. I hope this video has helped in comparison of incubators, 
the issues we have and why we do let these heat up for 24 hours prior to using because we could have issues like this. It could fluctuate so much to where it actually kills your hatch. That's not what I want. Moving forward, we're gonna get this old unit going. I give it 24 hours, get the temperature going. I'm gonna get those turkey eggs and we'll get them in that incubator and we'll follow the progress. Thanks for watching you guys and have a good day. Bye.